Welcome back everyone, it's Austin Tatius here with another video of an S-Class multi-tool. Um, just before we start this search uh, and show you the instructions, uh, just want to run some information past you. Uh, you may or, or may not already know this, but any multi-tool that was found and discovered pre-Frontiers, so any multi-tool that was found by anybody before the Frontiers update, there's a very good chance that the tool on the planet, so if, it, if it's a minor settlement on a planet, there's a high chance that that tool is no longer showing as an S-Class. Uh, many, many tools uh, that I know of and that have been flagged up to me by other people um, are now showing as lower class cabinets, so A, B, even C-Class cabinets and in some instances even a completely different tool is showing in the uh, planet side cabinets. It doesn't look as though tools in space stations have been affected um, and this isn't the first time this has happened, it happened with Origins, um, it massively happened with the Beyond update um, but basically in short any tool that was discovered before the Frontiers update is now a question mark as to whether it's still S-Class. Um, I found a few of my old finds that, that are still S-Class, but there's a lot of them that have changed classes. So um, because this is kind of not the first time this has happened, and because multi-tools take a heck of a long time to discover and to find, they can take several hours, you know, a whole weekend in some cases, um, Myself, Lava Lamp, most of the kind of experienced multi-tool hunters, we're sort of all on the same page that we're not going to go back and rediscover those tools unless they were very popular and unless we get specific requests to basically look for that tool and rediscover it. Um, because we've got several hundred logged between, uh, well, we've got several thousand logged between all of us. I've got over 350 logged just myself. And to go back through and just reconfirm all of those finds is a monumental task. So to save disappointment, um, I would just personally, if you were looking for a tool, I would only look for tools now that are posted um, post Frontiers update, uh, because all, the, all of the previous multi-tools may be affected, and certainly a lot of them might be affected. Anyway, so um, this is Euclid Galaxy. Um, this is a tier three economy. It's a wealthy system, a Viking system. So everything in this system, tools, frigates, freighters, ships, you have a 2% chance of basically finding them in this class. The station cabinet itself is a natural B class. Um, so it's an ugly tool as well, won't bother with that. Um, we're after a alien rifle in this system and you will be portaling into this planet here, it's a planet called Eris. Um, so this is the portal planet and what you'll need to do is as soon as you arrive um, via the portal, get in your ship and then get back out again so it creates an auto save and then uh, immediately just reload that save. We have to reload a save on Eris, the portal planet, in order to, to get this tool. So we'll go and do that now. So this is my pink squid ship. It's a very rare ship. The um, the exotics are not really rare ships. The squids are arguably the shyest um, of all the exotics. I mean, technically, they've all got the same chance, I guess, of spawning, but um, I certainly, in my experience, find that squids tend to be very shy. Um, but the pink squids and the lilac slash purple squid are definitely two of the rarest exotics in this game. Um, this pink squid, this is the only one I've ever found in the wild in thousands of hours of gameplay and I actively hunt ships and tools so it just shows you how rare 
the um, the pink calories. There's quite a few of them that have been logged over the last several years, but um, you could you could play this game for a thousand hours and not stumble across a pink or, or lilac squid. They're extremely shy. Uh, so yeah, we reload a save here. So this will be the portal planet, and as soon as you come through the portal, uh, get in your ship, get back out again, and reload that save, and then we'll head to um, Car Swain, a planet called Car Swain, which is where the settlement is located. So I'll show you the glyphs in a moment, because these are the glyphs that you're going to need to spawn onto this planet. So at the bottom left of your screen, are the glyphs that you want, which will bring you directly to this planet Ares. So make a note of those glyphs. And pause the screen if needed. So those glyphs will bring you to this planet here. It's actually a glitch item planet. It's a thin planet, so you can pick those shells up. Um, but there's, there's no minor settlements on any of the glitch item planets. So you can spawn um, multi-tools on any planet and moon in the game, regardless of what type it is. It is but um, they don't have minor settlements, so you can't conduct um, a search on any of those planets. So this planet is quite far away from the portal planet. So the planet we're going to is this one here, Car Swain. Um, and the reason why it is so far away is because all of the other planets are really bad for looking for multi-tools. Like that one's got aggressive sentinels, there's a couple of, um, there's like an airless planet, there's a glitch item planet, they're just not very good. So apologies, but you will need to sort of have a bit of a track to the, um, the planet here. The glyphs would have been at the, uh, sorry, the coordinates would have been at the top of your screen. But just to confirm, they are plus 9.36 and minus 77.17. Really see that pink man over there. It's, it's lovely. Really nice ship this. I think I like it more because I know how difficult these are to come by in the wild. Yeah, so Panic Car Swain uh, plus 9.36 minus 77.17. These planets are really good to look for tools on the desert planets. You can see the um, settlements from quite a while away. They're easy to spot. As well. So there's the uh, oh, there's the coordinates just to confirm. And this is the alien rifle. So it's the backup polygon capacitor. It's in a blue skin, a dark blue skin with turquoise rear crystals, a turquoise crystal clip, and a black and gold barrel trigger and butt. 16 slots because that's the maximum that mid rifles can have across the board. So you can obviously upgrade that to 24 at the um, space station. I'll show you what it's like in first person. You can see the pistols there, really nice. Goes well with a dark blue. Once again. Yeah, 
very nice alien tool. That is the panic details. And thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, apologies for the waffle at the start, but it is a bit of a disclaimer just to let you know that pre-frontiers, a lot of the multi-tools now have changed past. So um, best of luck. I hope you've picked this up and added it to an already good collection of yours. And I shall see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Goodbye.